Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss introduction to XHTML. We already have seen in the previous sessions HTML. So the obvious question would be why we need XHTML then? Initially, problems were created by the lack of standards. There were no standards to develop HTML. So browser makers and developers tend to create their own proprietary extensions. So, some website will perfectly visible in one particular browser, and some website will be perfectly visible in another web browser. This was termed as a browser wars of 1990s. W3C was the first and the main source for the standards for the browsers to follow. The evolution of HTML leads to separation of formatting instruction from the content and that particular part leading to develop CSS. HTML was redeveloped as XHTML using XML to apply more strict approach to coding. XHTML provides a more stable platform for CSS. When we see CSS, at that particular time we will see how it is providing more stable version to CSS. XHTML stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language that X represents extensible. XHTML is almost identical to HTML but it is more stricter and cleaner version of HTML. HTML XHTML is HTML defined as an XML application. XHTML is supported by almost all the major browsers. Characteristics of HTML. This is very important particularly topic. What is the characteristics of XHTML? Doc type is mandatory. We have skipped this particular part in our previous sessions of HTML but here in XHTML doc type is mandatory. We are going to see doc type in detail in a next slide. XML namespace attribute in HTML tag is also mandatory. HTML head, body and, uh, and title tag is also mandatory in XHTML. You have to write otherwise it will create an error. Element must be properly nested. You have to properly nest the element. You can nest the element but the nesting should be proper. There should not be any overlapping elements. Elements must always be closed. All the element which you start, you have to end that particular element. Element must be in a lower case. All the tags must be in a lower case. You cannot use capital case. Document must have one root element. And that is in our case HTML. Attribute name must also be in a lower case. Here we have seen elements must be in a lower case. All the attributes of that particular element also should be in the lower case. Attribute value must be quoted. You have to use double quote to specify the value of the attribute. For example, in HTML, if we write table border equal to 1 it will work but in xhtml you have to write table border equal to in a double quote one you have to use double quote in xhtml whereas in html it was optional attribute abbreviation is forbidden you cannot use abbreviated forms of attributes in xhtml so that was all the characteristics of XHTML that doc type is mandatory, namespace in HTML is mandatory, HTML head, title and body is mandatory, elements must be properly nested, elements must always be closed, elements must be in a lower case, only one root element and that too HTML, attribute should also be in a lower case, attribute value must be quoted and abbreviation is forbidden. Next is XHTML doc type. What is doc type? 
an XHTML doc type must have an XHTML doc type declaration. And there are four different DTDs you can specify. First is a strict type, second is a basic, transactional, and a frame set. The most commonly used in XHTML is uh, transitional docu uh, document or transactional DTD. There are four different as we have already seen. Uh, the syntax which we are we are going to discuss over here you have to write the f in the first line of your XHTML file there are four different as we already have seen strict transactional basic and a frame set the strict type of doc type is uh, allowed all the elements and attributes but does not include presentational or deprecated elements like font if you specify strict type of doc type in XHTML, you cannot use font tag. And frame set is also not allowed. You cannot use frame set tag while you use XHTML 1.0 strict kind of DTD. To write that, you simply have to write doc type HTML and this particular code as your first line. You have to specify this in XHTML. Okay. Next is a trans, uh, transitional. In a transitional doc type, all the elements are allowed, including font, like presentational and deprecated elements like font. But still, you cannot use frame set. So, in a strict, you can use all the HTML tags, but presentational and deprecated tags you cannot use, as well as you cannot use font tag. Whereas in a transitional, you can use deprecated tags, but you cannot use frame set. To write a XHTML transitional DTD, you simply need to write this particular code in your first line. Next is a basic. It is almost equal to XHTML 1.0 strict but allows you to add modules. You can add some other modules in your code. To write that, you need to write this particular code in your uh, XHTML first line. Almost second line, not first line, but uh, as of now, we, we can write this particular line as our first line of code. And the last was XHTML 1.0 frame set, which allows almost all the tags including frame set so if you have to use frame set in xhtml you have to specify doc type this particular in your first line of code in xhtml so this was all the four doc types which are supported in xhtml strict which is uh, which allows all the html but do, does not allowed uh, deprecated tags as well as frame set it allows deprecated but does not allow frame set. It allows to add you another modules. And this allows all the tags including deprecated and frame set. So this was the doc type declaration of XHTML. Okay. Thank you.